Well, right. Olten Park without the historic uh, whatever it was. Um, setup's basically the same as Olten Park last time for a few little differences. Uh, cars as low as it can go, compression's up a little bit. Brake bias is on the lower side, but if you're locking up a lot, obviously increase that. Uh, the change, the real change, is the camber. Uh, I've changed the camber on uh, the, the different wheels here just to try and even out um, the tire temp. Uh, I found it did, did improve things a bit, so give that a try. Um, I, I found it, it did help things out. Um, gear stack is short. I, I'm not quite sure in a race if that's going to bite me in the straights for drafting. Uh, may have to bump that up to standard possibly, but I think short stack is probably going to be the way to go. Um, 14 liters will get you to the end, possibly 13 liters. Uh, so give that a try. So we'll do the laps in slow-mo as usual and then run it out at full speed. Track is 20 degrees, so hopefully that is representative of uh, the temps for the race this week. 37% uh, usage, so a little bit on the low side. Uh, you can see in the lap times it's a 138.6, 138 almost flat is my best, but boy it's hard to string together um, all the laps, all the corners in one lap. So. Coming into turn one, obviously fourth gear. Looking for the black sign here, just braking uh, before it. Pretty hard on the brakes in fourth gear. Cold tires, you may want to do this in third gear for the first lap or two or three. And then releasing the brakes and picking up the throttle as early as you can, but you don't want to push wide. And it's really important to get into uh, this section right here get on the curb. Uh, you don't really want to get on the grass part, but you do need to get that curb there. Uh, otherwise, you're going to run wide and get that X. Not the end of the world, but uh, on your quality lap for sure, X's are no good. Uh, as far as the 1X goes, I think you can actually cross the white line with your right tire, but you have to keep it on the curb. Uh, so just uh, watch out for that. Again, it's not the end of the world if you go a little wide here, other than you do get an X. It won't cost you too much time if you do run wide. So, coming into the next corner. So, just where the hill dips here, you want to be on the right-hand side, but do not touch this grass. Touch this grass and your race is over. So, right-hand side. Uh, good blast of brakes, fourth gear again, cold tires, you may want to do this in third gear for the first uh, couple of laps. Uh, it won't cost you too much time, but it will uh, keep you from possibly spinning out. And it's really important to get on this curb and then just picking up the power as early as possible. And then letting it run out wide. This is a really tricky one for getting an X. This is just going to take some practice how much speed you can carry and still keep it on track. Um, if you get on the curb here, you're fine, but if you get on the grass crete here, uh, you get that X. So in a race, not so important, but uh, for your quality laps, definitely uh, you don't want to do that. Fourth gear, and then this is where it may bite you with the short stack. So fourth gear, uh, looking for where the, the the pavement comes out here, this little extra bit of pavement. Just going to be a little lift. Uh, cold tires, may, maybe just a little longer lift or just lift a, a little bit earlier. And then you really want to get into this uh, near the curbs here, get maybe even on the curbs. Uh, the track is cambered. If you're running wide here, if you're going too wide, the outside guy is going to be going into the grass um, if you're carrying that much speed. So watch out for that and then just picking up the throttle. Um, you do have to get over to the left-hand side so you can make use of the right here. 
but you do have to get over and you want to get those uh, the wheel straight for this braking zone because this is one of the harder braking zones here and basically there's no great marker um, I'm using the sort of the just past the end of the tires here getting on the brakes pretty hard down into second gear um, if you're better on the brakes you can probably brake a little closer to this um, green marker um, but it's important to carry a lot of speed through here and get on the power early um, overall so if you're battling for that corner you know you can break later but uh, for a faster time it's it's better to break early and get on the gas early and then just picking up the throttle second gear through this corner you can get on the curbs there but again don't get on the grass Now this one's a little tricky, so you can see that there's a bend in the track, and at that bend in the track, you want to be aiming for uh, the tires here. Uh, you basically kind of just want to thread the needle a bit. Pretty hard on the brakes. This is another big braking area, big crashing area too, watch out. Down into second gear, you want to get on the curbs here, but... Um, you can see the curbs here have a pretty good lip to them so you don't want to get your tire over that lip your tire is going to grab that lip and it's going to spin you out or give you some trouble so uh, keep your tire actually on the curb and try and get it a little bit to the left just to open this one up a bit more just carrying some speed through there and then picking up the throttles early as possible and just making use of all of the track here as much as you can to the white line if you if you get your tire onto the grass in front of the curbs here that is an X so again in a race not so important but your quality lap that's gonna count so coming up to the next corner just past the hundred board here in real time looks a little bit past the hundred board uh, just giving it a bit of brakes fourth gear uh, again cold tires first lap you might want to do this in third gear possibly but you can do this in fourth gear pretty pretty easy and you really you gotta turn in earlier than you think for this one so you can see I'm already turning in um, just just past the uh, the curb here and getting rid of the brake and basically you you want to cut this corner here and get you're aiming for this little triangle thing uh, with the white paint whoops and uh, just keeping it to the right picking up the throttles early as you can there's actually a lot of time to be lost through this corner if you do it wrong and if you're battling too wide and you're on the outside this is a real dangerous one and again just using the curb there I think you can put a tire on the grass crete uh, not the end of the world so coming up to the next one again this is a real tricky one looking for the uh, green marker up here getting on the brakes just before it in real time looks like you're a lot closer pretty good blast of brakes fourth gear and you want to get pretty close to these curbs here you don't necessarily want to be right up tight against it but pretty close to it and let the car carry some speed have the throttle on there so your back end isn't getting too loose and then turning in and this is the one where you really want to get up tight against these curbs uh, if you get on top of these curbs not the end of the world um, you don't really want to run it out wide here. This is a, a tricky section. And getting on the throttle as early as possible. And this one's tough for a brake marker. Um, basically, as you're, as you're approaching here, you can see a dip in the pavement uh, just past the, the uh, turn marker here. Or you can maybe judge... Uh, how far you are from this big tree 
but just past that sign right where this dip is getting on the brakes pretty hard when the car's in front of you it's going to be hard to see that dip so this is a tricky one down into second gear and then just releasing the brakes now this is downhill uh, so you got to watch how much you release the brakes if you just totally lift the brakes uh, you can actually spin your your back end here so you want to ease off the brakes and then ease on the throttle and really get up tight against this curb towards the end of it uh, if you get onto the grass past the curb here that is another X so watch out for that on your quality lap and picking up the throttle as early as possible unwind the wheel and use all the track you can use the curb up here on the left no problem uh, you don't want to get on the grass here that's an X and also gonna cost you a lot of time and maybe spin you out and then keeping it tight to the left obviously if you're battling that might be a different situation but uh, tight to the left is uh, the faster way you don't want to take this one out wide you don't have to do that this just shortens the track so that's a 138.6 yeah lots of time left on the track but uh, if you're in the low 138s mid 138s probably be pretty competitive so good luck hopefully uh, see you out there the participation last week wasn't so good but that was a brand new track so probably a lot of people didn't buy it we'll see you next time